Haley, take a look at this is the map that we're showing for you online. It currently shows what the districts look like right now. Let's go ahead and take that uh, full for you so you can see that. Now, the commission just released those draft maps. They're not final, but remember, California, for the first time, will lose one district from 53 to 52. So the district on the chopping block at this point appears to be a district in Los Angeles. So it doesn't affect us in Northern California. But take a look at the current district boundaries that you're seeing right here. District 1, represented by Doug Lamalfa, District 2, Democrat Jared Huffman, and that includes Trinity County, and District 3, Democrat John Garamendi. That includes Glenn, Clusa, and Yuba counties. That's the current districts, but I'm going to click on that right there, and what we're seeing now is the draft map. So take a look at what happens. The draft map, by the way, it's important to note, does not identify district numbers yet, but the district that corresponds with District 1, Congressional District, would now include Glen, Calusa, and Sutter counties. The new version of what is now District 2 would still include Trinity County, and District 3 is carved up quite a bit and would no longer include counties in our viewing area at all. Now let's take a look at the state Senate here. Uh, there's, I'm going to actually overlay the current Senate districts with the draft, and you can see both on your screen right now. And uh, there's really very little change uh, in those districts, District 1 represented by Brian Daly, District 4 represented by Jim Nilsen, they mostly stay unchanged. Again, this is an overlay of the current district with the proposed new district. But the State Assembly sees quite a bit of change. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and, and show you uh, what the current Assembly districts look like right now. The current districts in our area include District 1 represented by Megan Daly, and then District 3. James Gallagher. But let's go ahead and show you what the draft for the new assembly districts would look like. Under the draft maps, most of Butte County would now fall under the former District 1. Megan Daly would become the new assembly person for Butte County. Tehama and Glen counties would now go to a completely different district that extends southward. And Gallagher, who lives in Sutter County, would now presumably represent counties including Sutter County and Yuba County eastward, including Nevada and Sierra counties, but not Butte County or Glenn County or Tehama County. So again, the maps are just drafts. The final decision is expected by December 20th. The new districts go into effect with elections beginning next year. Now, some in Butte County are not happy about the potential change. Gallagher's represented the third district since 2014. Action News Network reporter Ryan Ketchum is live in downtown Chico. Ryan, what do local voters have to say about the change? Yeah, several local voters are not happy thinking that they might possibly not have Gallagher as a representative anymore. I spoke to several people who tell me that Gallagher has done so many caring and kind things to the community. Jeff George, who actually lives in Chico, told me that during the COVID-19 pandemic, when he needed help, Gallagher was right there and helped him immediately. I was having a, a problems with uh, the EDD, which is a state you know, organization, and they they were really um, having problems issuing, you know, some assistance to me uh, through the PUA, the pandemic, you know, assistance. And he, he worked the whole thing out. I mean, it, it was just uh, really quite good. I was impressed with he and his people, you know, that really, they really did the job. They helped me out. Others that I spoke with who are against Gallagher actually told me that it's actually the opposite. He's not caring. He, they say that he's very self-serving and they say it would be a good thing if this map is approved. The map uh, redistricting map was released on Thursday and has yet to be approved. However, reporting live in downtown Chico, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now coverage you can count on. All those maps we showed you are not final, but they have been drafted and then modified, all based on public comment and concerns. Another public comment period begins November 17th through the 23rd. The maps must be certified by December 27th.